Hi guys, I'm Liz Wessel. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Way Up, which used to be called Campus Job, and that's actually one of the things I'll be talking about today. And I'm, uh, I'm Matt Powers, I'm the head of products at uh, Way Up. So uh, we still sometimes say like, I can't Way Up. So anyway, we're going to talk about exactly that. Um, so I'm going to start this with some context. About a year ago, uh, my co-founder JJ and I started, it was just 13 months ago, started what is now Way Up. And and our goal was to solve the problem that college students needed, wanted, desired to have a job or internship during school, yet it was pretty much impossible for students to find the right one. And so we decided we would focus on part-time jobs at the start. And so we thought the name Campus Job would be indicative of what we would do. We actually called ourselves The Campus Job and then had a Facebook moment like two months later and dropped the The. Um, but we called ourselves Campus Job. So note to everyone who ever wants to start a company, don't think short-sighted when creating your name. And so we ended up uh, realizing about four months in after launching summer internships that there was a really big problem. Um, we would go around telling people, oh, you should go to campusjob.com and students would very often by January say, oh, I'm not really looking for a campus job anymore. I already have that. Now I'm looking for a summer internship. And we realized that people took our name really, really literally. And so we had a problem. So uh, a few months later in June, I was on um, national TV and uh, the banner below me where all the traffic is going to go says collegejob.com matches big businesses with job seekers. And I remember seeing it and like imagine seeing that and being on live TV and trying not to cringe and be like, no. So if you guys watch the interview, like. 10 times throughout, I'm like, yeah, so campusjob.com. So we realized that it wasn't only a problem because of the fact that people were taking it so literally, we realized it was also a problem because no one could even say our name in the first place. We thought campus job was pretty easy to say, but pretty much one out of every two people who heard our name repeated it back as campus jobs or college job. So we had a problem and we wanted to fix it. So I ended up hiring a design agency. Um, I used to work at Google in brand and product marketing and we always hired agencies for to solve pretty much like so many of our problems. And uh, and so I thought, oh, I'll just hire an agency to come up with a name. We had, we'd been working on it since January or so uh, to come up with a new name and like our office literally had color post-it notes everywhere with new name ideas but nothing was very good. So we hired this agency, amazing references and all that and um, early July on a Monday morning, the deposit is submitted, we're supposed to have our kickoff meeting at 9 a.m. and at 8.58 a.m. I get an email and the email is from the agency and it says, thank you so much for believing in us, um, but we're dropping out. I'm going to send you the deposit back, but unfortunately we can't work with you because you want us to come up with a new name and logo in two weeks and we feel like our creative juices are being stifled and, and I just stopped reading at that point and I was like, I'm so upset, um, as you can imagine. And so uh, a few hours later, I was actually out to lunch with two of our interns, um, Jess and Hannah, who we hired on our own website, so good story. And um, I'm out to, uh, out to lunch with them on a roof deck and this is like literally a month and a half ago, two months ago, and uh, I'm I'm kind of miserable and they could tell in my face. I know I'm supposed to have a game face as a CEO, but it just, I was really not having a good day. And they asked why and I told them the story. And they said, well, why don't we just come up with a new name for you? And I was like, okay, you guys, branding experts. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, actually, that's a pretty good idea and it could be a really good story because we hired you on our own website to come up with a new name, et cetera. So I ended up saying, go for it, try. And we go back to the office and if you can just picture our office, um, the whole office is themed to college. So each conference room is like, there's a frat room with a keg table and there's a library room with books hanging from the ceiling and there's a football stadium room. And so they go in the frat room naturally and they start thinking about what names and I see them drawing on a whiteboard and they come out an hour and a half later with 10 names that I swear are all better than any of the like the 500 names that my team had come up with over the past seven months. So I look at the names and one of the names on the list just immediately stood out and it was way up and I just loved the name. And we looked at the trademark and we were good to go. The domain was owned by a squatter, which are like, I have a whole nother speech on squatters, but uh, I was really, really, really um, excited about it. And we start coming up with slogans and we pitch it to the team and people are like, oh my gosh, if you're not on way up, then you're on your way down or we'll show you the way up. And we come up with all these clever slogans and we decided, um, let's go with the way up. So uh, then we needed a logo. 
So I'm going to fast forward the next like two weeks of time, but literally the next day I post a job on what was campus job, now way up, uh, and I say I'm looking for a logo designer, and we get an NYU student applies along with a bunch of other people who I just loved her portfolio, and so we hire her. She comes into the office the next day, and um, she creates a ton of different options. These are just eight of the, like, probably she delivered like 30. And so she delivers a bunch of options, and uh, I show them to my team, and we came up with three options we really liked, and then I go out on the streets, and I literally start harassing every single person with a backpack on, and probably some of you are your friends, so I apologize in advance, or now, you know, afterwards. And uh, I start harassing everyone with a backpack, and I say, which one do you like the most? I'm not going to tell you anything about my company, I just want the logo to be beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, and everyone, for the most part, really liked the bottom right one, and so we ended up making some tweaks, and. Um, I'll show you it at the very end, but we were like absolutely, or you'll see it throughout, but we were absolutely thrilled with the final design. And then the final part of the story was, I said, okay, well, our, our demographics is college students, students love video, so we have to make a rebrand video. So posted a job saying we're looking for students to make a rebrand video. We hired two students who are film majors in Chapman University in LA, fly them in literally two days later, they make a whole rebrand video, and if we have a minute at the very end, which I hope we time for, I'll show you the rebrand video. It's kind of funny. Um, and so now Matt is going to talk, so Matt's our head of product, and um, we, we knew if we had a new brand, we had to make something different about the product. We had to kind of like step up our game. I felt like we were going from campus job to way up, and so we had to have our product go from like whatever it was here to here. Um, but everything we do with product is just, it's all about like making the design really, really unique and fun and different. And so I realized that, uh, we all realized actually, that web is obviously very big for college students because they're constantly doing what a few of you guys are doing, which is like on your laptops um, during a lecture. And so while most of our traffic is on web, not all of our traffic is on web, obviously, and every single month we see it slightly decreasing and mobile increasing. So we decided we have to have a mobile app. Matt said he would take charge, so he's going to talk about the mobile app. Um, it's just worth noting, uh, for the context of his presentation, that you can take this, uh, that um, when a student signs up for Way Up, they fill out a profile, and on average they give us about 20 points on themselves, and so it's everything from your major to your minor, GPA, hobbies, skills, etc. And then once you fill out the profile, we only show you jobs you're qualified for, so just understand the importance of the profile and take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Uh, I'm Matt, I'm the head of product. Thank you for the new mic, by the way. I'm loud, but I'm not that loud. Um, so what I'm gonna be walking you through today is um, one piece of the rebranding that we that we did with mobile. Um, as you can see right here, this is the, this is the home screen that we kind of came up with. Um, we really looked at mobile as an opportunity to kind of like do something very, very unique, um, which I think we're doing uh, on mobile in general, but we had one particularly interesting design challenge. Um, and it was pretty much how to get this to mobile. And so on the web, this was like a fantastic, this is like a, what, you, what you're seeing here is when a user first, first puts in a, like a valid.edu address, they get brought to this screen. And it's a fun like Mad Lib style kind of form for you to fill out. And we get like a 360 degree view on the actual user. Um, and allow, that allows us to do better matchmaking with potential employers and find them better jobs. And, and the list goes on and on. So when we first looked at this, we said, okay, how do we get this to mobile? Well, we can go one to one and put a form on mobile, but you know what? That's not gonna really work out. Um, users, I think the statistic is they open, for every app they download it, 50% of the users open it once and they never come back. Um, mobile's a little bit different than web. If a user doesn't come back to your mobile app, they're not coming back, right? There's all sorts of marketing trips on, tricks on the web to get people to come back to your site, but on mobile, um, that's not gonna happen. And people really, really, really like this, so we wanted to translate this to mobile really well. So the first thing we thought was, all right, let's take a look at a bunch of different apps that are out on the market today, um, and let's see who has a good onboarding experience. ZipDrug, awesome app. They deliver prescription drugs to your home, Uber, Uber for prescription drugs. Um, great app, so we first started thinking, okay, let's do like a nice clean swipe, put in some more information, swipe, put in some more information. We'll get the user into the app quickly. It'll feel pretty seamless. 
So we started playing around with that a little bit, and we kind of said to ourselves, all right, um, that's a clean experience, but it's not really unique, and we want to be different. So we started looking at other apps. We started looking at Uber. We started looking at Spotify. Started looking at Facebook. Facebook, for people who haven't registered on mobile and probably can't even remember when the last time you registered on mobile, um, it's about a 13-step process to get into the app. So we said, wow, we have 20, 20 points that we want to collect getting into the app. We've got to make this fun, right? So I'm going to play, this is a Pixate prototype. For people that don't know what Pixate is, it's a high-fidelity prototyping tool. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of this once, and then I'm going to kind of explain afterwards. All right, so I think people kind of get the point. Um, so what's really going on here is what we wanted to do was we wanted to tell a story, right? We wanted to make it feel like reimagine the modern day cover letter, right? So what you're actually seeing here is as people start filling stuff out, they start telling a story above the fold, right? And so it starts filling out this kind of story about the individual user. Now there's clear usability issues with this, right? What happens when you get 75% of the way through and somebody clicks on the X? You might want to, you know, want to put up a confirmation box to say, hey, listen, you know what, um, do you really want to leave this screen? Um, also, if you guys watched it the first time, you're probably thinking to yourself, I have no idea what's going on at the top, right? So there's things with like subtle animations that we can do to draw people's eye up to that actual like user experience. So we're kind of playing around with this right now. We've socialized it internally. Um, we've gotten a lot of great user feedback. People really, really like the experience. So we've gone ahead and actually started developing it on iOS. I have uh, an actual working version of my phone, so it's not vaporware, uh, it's actually real. So if people want to talk about it and ask me questions about it, um, I'm around after, Liz is around after, some of the people up and back that actually you know, built this are around after to talk about it, so please come talk to us about it. Uh, I mean, you go to the next screen. Oops. We're going to show, I'm really loud, we're going to show the video in a second, but we are hiring for designers in case anyone is, is looking, or we're hiring for a lot, so anyway, why don't we? Hi, I'm Gregory. I'm a rising senior in college, and I'm also the spokesperson of a website that used to be called Campus Job. Now, it's known as Way Up. You see, whether you're looking to work part-time during the semester, find an internship over the summer anywhere across the country, or land a full-time job after graduation, Way Up is there for you. In fact, my friend Eric and I found the gig to make this video just by going on to wayup.com. Isn't that right, Eric? Yep. For absolutely zero dollars. Yeah, completely for free. Really? WayUp will help you boost your resume while you make money. Now, are our jobs good? No. Our jobs are f***ing great. Look, don't rely on websites that look like they were built in the 90s or cardboard signs that hang in store windows. Cardboard signs are made from trees. Dead trees. And I'm assuming you're the kind of person that doesn't want trees to die. <laughs> Wait, or do you? Stop trying to get a job by begging your parents to introduce you to their dentist wife's father. I mean, you can get a job on your own based on your profile and what you're qualified for. Shh, quiet. I mean, it's, it's that easy. Just hit apply. I mean, come on. This guy got one of the first jobs on his own. Looking good, George. Each job is not only legit, they're also curated by the WayUp team themselves. I've even traveled to their New York headquarters just to show you what it's all about. You see, this is Liz and Nikki. They sit around all day and approve and reject jobs just for you. Not convinced? Just ask the summer intern for Way Up. Jess. Hey, uh, Jess, what were you doing before Way Up? Not working. What are you doing now? Working. Yeah, I'm no geometry major, but this company is unparalleled. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? This is WayUp.com, and they will get you hired. Because if you're not on Way Up, then you're probably on your way down. Hit it, engineers. Way I feel blessed. I don't say that we back or nothing, cause that implies that we're back from something. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was fun. <laughs> so, um, I think we have like five minutes or a few minutes for questions. If anyone has any questions about the rebrand, how we're thinking about building the app, anything. Questions? It's gotta be one. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Excellent. All right. So my question is, you're uh, you're mentioning something about uh, domain, so that's always exciting, uh, and. Uh, uh, yeah, so how, how are you able to acquire it? Because WayUp, is it .com, is it .io, is it .co? Yeah, so it's WayUp.com. Um, Paul Graham recently, we, we were, we're a Y Combinator company, so everything Paul Graham says we kind of bow down to a little bit. Um, so Paul Graham recently wrote a blog post very coincidentally the week before we renamed um, where he said every company has to have a .com, like don't even try to create a company with anything other than a .com, unless you are purely a mobile app that will never have a web presence. So uh, we felt pretty strongly about the .com philosophy, and uh, I think I ended up just going to wayup.com, it said call here if you want to buy this, you know, it was owned by a squatter, so he very much wanted to sell it. So I called and I did my little negotiation game, pretending, I, pretending I'm not a company uh, that's raised $9.1 million, because then of course the prices would be a little inflated and uh, just I think I was buying it for a school project so excellent yeah no it's a great domain uh, thank you it's uh, no the name you see the it's actually better because I'm kind of actually from investing perspective on domains uh, it's usually the short names are gone so you want to have it to somebody who's gonna sell it because somebody might just hold it for years and years and you guys lucked out yeah we definitely did not pay the hundreds of thousands excellent. or millions of yeah. dollars thank you <laughs> I think someone right in front of you might have <laughs> um, so I'm just interested, do you see that sign up part as the most important aspect for users and user acquisition? Is, is that why you spend so much time on it or is there other parts of way up where you have to still onboard and make sure users get all the way through the process? Sure, that's a, that's a good question. So yeah, I, I think obviously the two main parts of, of, the two most important parts of the app are uh, getting people into the app and then conversion, right? So we really wanted to make sure that we have such a high completion rate on our website that we really wanted to make sure that people were gonna download the app and get a great feeling right when they opened it up, right? So it was really, really important for us. He, he's redesigning, I mean, that team is redesigning the entire site for mobile. It was just that that was the first challenge that we faced. We kind of, I guess, went in chronological order of sign up to yeah. uh, the cards. And so that's just the one he wanted to talk to you about today. Definitely check out the app when it comes out in like two months, one month, sure. soon. 30 days. <laughs> I'll think of do that. <laughs> Hey, um, I was wondering a little bit more about what your business model is and if you guys have any kind of a, a referral program for promoting your, you know, your service. Yeah, our business model. Um, so WayUp makes money from employers. We never charge students. So the way we make money is that an employer pays for every application they receive. So we have everyone from Google to Starbucks to uh, Disney using us, um, thousands of companies. And they literally just pay us for, if it's a startup, they might want 20 applicants to hire two interns. Um, if it's a big company, they might want 10,000 applicants. And uh, for the referral program, we actually hire campus reps through WayUp to promote WayUp. Um, and that's how the majority of our growth has happened. We've grown pretty quickly. We'll be at, we're at hundreds of thousands of users right now. So we've been around for about a year. We're pretty proud of that. Would you ever consider a uh, you know mobile web-based referral program as opposed to a student ambassador kind of situation? Um, so right now we're definitely focused on the student ambassador. Matt's team has built this like really cool, basically if a campus rep sends you the app, then like their picture will show up in the app. So I think we're doing a lot of innovative things around yeah, that. We've, I mean, We've definitely started thinking about it. It's they're they're like little hints in the app that you can see that that, that might be on the horizon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Two more. There you go. So since you guys are kind of like the classic two-sided marketplace, uh, will you talk a little bit about how you work on the other side of the um, user experience or product? Where you, you know, for the companies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually, the mobile app is going to be for students only, and I can actually speak to why um, very simply, uh, employers, especially recruiters, HR people, we spoke to them and they never use the site on mobile. And the main reason is because they say like, this is my job and it would be weird if I was sitting at my desk on a mobile phone swiping versus, or doing anything versus just on my computer. Um, so like we got zero requests for a mobile app from businesses. Um, but from a standpoint of the site, we actually get told often that, and I encourage everyone to log onto the site, whether or not you're, or, or sign up for the site, whether or not you're hiring, um, 
and check out what it looks like from a business perspective because we get feedback all the time from businesses saying like they've never seen really a hiring site or a job site that looks the way ours looks. So we have card based. Um, every applicant looks like a card, so it's mobile friendly, mobile optimized, etc. So um, yeah, yeah both, both both sides of the market are very very important. So we create just as good of a user experience on the uh, employer side as the you know uh, student side. So. Cool. It's probably all the time we have. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, Liz and Matt.